The data, the evidence seems to suggest that girls do better in a single sex environment, boys do better in a co-ed environment. And part of that experience tends to be that uh, girls mature quicker, uh, they therefore apply themselves quicker in general, um, and therefore they perform better along with other equally uh, mature peers. Boys don't, and therefore human nature is to move to the lowest common denominator. And there's a fair bit of research around that. Caroline Greek uh, is a psychologist. She's done a lot of work around uh, women's uh, and young girls' development, uh, particularly around things like self-esteem uh, and risk-taking um, and how risk-averse girls can be. And sometimes you have to create an environment for girls to, to flourish in that. One of the factors clearly is the uh, number of uh, young women going into um, certain fields like physics and science. Mm -hmm. uh, we have really high proportions who do computing uh, and do physics and do science. Uh, and we wouldn't have those in a co-ed school because those girls would tend to fall back and, and allow the, the males in the class. In more realistic terms, what you tend to notice in the class, boys will blag it. So if they don't know the answer, they're going to have a go anyway, and they're going to stick their hand up, and they don't care. The girls will want to go away, research it, find out the right answer, and come back with that next week with a four-page sort of document or essay around that. And you want to find some middle ground. Occasionally, it's good for the girls to blag it, uh, and occasionally, it's good for the boys to do some work 